Man, we just finished the fight. How you feeling? Tired, um, excited, and uh, just, man, just happy to be a part of this movement and to be a leader and an innovator in this movement, man. You know, it, it said they, they said it couldn't be done, and I mean, I, we exceeded expectations. What did you think the first five seconds when he went back? Um, first five seconds, I th so my, my strategy was to drop him first round um, because I know that traditionally in boxing, it's a fill-out round. Everyone that knows boxing knows that the first round is a fill-out round. You gauge someone's hand speed, you gauge uh, timing, you gauge distance, right? So I figured that if I came in and bull rushed him, I would be able to drop him. I caught him and dropped him into the corner and the ropes uh, kept him up. And uh, But he took that, he bounced back. He was able to fall just right where he bounced back. And then I said, okay, that was one of my better shots. So now I got a box. So I got to ask the question most that I've been wondering is you put your hands down and let him hit you in the middle of the fight. What was going through your mind? Uh, menudo time was going through my mind. So I felt I felt his punches and uh, I'm not going to lie. He, he could throw a good one, right? But I felt it and to, hey, to be totally honest with you, I was gassed, right? And so I said, you know what? I got to conserve my energy. So I just dropped and ate him. I just ate him and showed the people out there that I hey, it's nothing. I ate him and I walked forward and then that's what it was. But at the same time, don't get it twisted. I was feeling those, you know what I mean? But hey, I guess it's just the men noodle in me. So I know you consider yourself a friend. Absolutely. Does it feel different now that you've shared this ring with me? I feel that, uh, that brothership. I feel brothership. We started out as good friends. We started out through this whole experience. We, we became closer and closer, you know, conversating, uh, talking on the phone, texting, getting everything together because a lot went into this fight. A lot went into this, a lot of promotion, a lot of uh, a, a lot of grief from people that thought this couldn't happen. Just a lot. And we shared and expressed feelings to one another on what was going on on our perspective channels. And, you know, what was just going on in the YouTube world? Um, but now it's different. It's like a brother for life. We shared that experience together. We put the ras on our back and we made it happen. We showed that unity is possible. And uh, we're gonna continue like that, man. This, this is just day one. It doesn't stop here. So how can somebody find you on YouTube? Uh, Gunners Collective, go to Gunners Collective. Uh, you'll find me, Mr. Menudo, can't miss me. I'll be the one going, oh, doing some crazy stuff. But at the same time, I guarantee that I bring total facts, real. Real talk from a real person for the people, by the people, and it's a Rasa United thing. And uh, man, go there. You see, you get a little bit of comedy, a whole lot of realness from a real one. Uh, also, tap into Cholo Trucker, um, another real one, man. Whole different lane, but I'm telling you right now, it's a good lane. He got the securities between them lines, and uh, I do my thing, he does his, but it's all in good, you know, it's all in good nature, man. Yeah, I want to thank you for coming on the House of Rest channel. Appreciate I, it. I appreciate you, brother, man. Uh, like I said, I, re I, I totally respect the House of Rest, man. I feel the movement, man. If you haven't come to the Lord, come to the Lord. The Lord is for everybody. He's not biased whatsoever or she, whatever the Lord may be. But hey, just come on, man. Shout out to the House of Rest and Pastor David Rocha. Thank you. Thank you. Bang, bang. Bang, bang.